What's up guys? Today's the opening day of a so-called red snapper season. We have get two days in federal waters to put red snapper in the ice box and we have a limit of one per angler. So we trailered the boat up north a couple hours to head out and see if we can't put some of these fish in the ice box. And today's a special day for me too because I have a couple of the guys that were there when I started fishing uh, as a young man. Uh, my uncle Stevie is here, plus I have Big Joe, and we got Will Crane in the back there. And we're gonna drop some jigs today. These guys got some goggle eyes uh, as well as fresh bait that they caught in Juno that's in the cooler. So I'm gonna give you guys jig selection on the water, how I'm selecting my jigs and dropping down. So I'll see you guys, stick around. It's gonna be a great video. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We wanna fill you in on what we have learned along the way. All right guys, so jig selection on the water. Um, you can see I have my jig bag here in front of me and there's a couple factors that I'm gonna look at before I pick my jigs out of my bag. Um, one of them, if you, if you wanna be a cheater, you can let your buddies drop a jig in before you and see how their line's doing and what weight they're doing. You can see Will there um, is scoping out behind the boat. So that's one factor that's taking place. But another one is if you look at the screen, what I'm really focusing on is the speed over ground. And you can see we're at 1.8, 1.9, it's even bumping up to two. And then I'm looking at the depth. We're at 247 feet. So if you use the gram per foot rule, that's gonna tell you that you need you know, a 250 gram jig. But what I noticed is that Will is scoping out a little bit. He's using a 300 gram jig. So I know that I need to bump it up. I know that I need to get my profile skinny. So if you look in my bag here, with the armed with the facts that I know right now, this is a wide jig. So I'm probably not gonna select this because it's gonna scope out too fast. I'm gonna go for something a little bit skinnier. Now remember, like shape and weight comes first before color. So if I only have you know one color of these 300 gram jigs in my bag, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna worry about the color. But if I have my choice for today, knowing that we're going for American Red Snapper, um, I like the pinks and greens. It's I've had a lot of success on these uh, for Snapper. Um, I do like holographic as well. This one doesn't has glow and pink and green. So my first jig dropping down is gonna be a 300 gram. And so last the last thing about figuring out you know, if, if you've selected the right jig, it's, it's about staying vertical really so if you know which way the boat is drifting it's a good idea to give it a pitch like that into the drift and i'm thumbing my spool just a little bit so my jig turns this way and drops down faster because i'm bottom fishing i'm looking for fish that live on the bottom and what i'm looking for is which direction my line is going so if my line is staying straight up and down and i can continuously tap bottom you know five to 10 times without being completely scoped out, you know that you're in good shape, you know that you have the right jig selection, that you're using the right size, you're using the right shape, and there's even a chance that you can scope down and, and use a lighter jig, use something with a larger profile. So I just tap bottom, and now I'm gonna give it a nice slow pitch right off of the bottom. I like to, I like to pop it just as soon as it taps bottom. And you see the slow unload on my rod tip? That's exactly what I'm looking for. And I don't know if you guys can see my line, but I can tell you that I'm straight up and down. I've got a 300 gram jig on. I know that I'm in the zone and I'm gonna be here for a while. So my jig selection is perfect for this drift. So let's catch some fish. Hooked up, baby! Is that on the bottom, John? Yeah, yeah look at that. Check mark, no, he feels like a the check mark ARS. Room. Where's the check mark? See it? Right there. Yeah. Just wait, does it ask a question? Is it marked? Alright guys, yeah. we're tight. It's asking a question. Oh. We got Joe hooked up. 
right behind me and uh, we doubled up basically at the same time Whoa, on the jig here. Crap. Uh, All right. This guy uh, definitely pulled some drag on me and he's got big head shakes and uh, feels like an ARS. Feel, I'm not calling it, but it feels like an ARS. Sure it's coming up. Yeah. All right, let me reel up. I was, he pulled a lot of drag. I just locked down on him a little more. Good job. I was right on the inside or on the side. Right, we were going up a little hill. Yeah, he wow. pulled some. He pulled some serious drag on me. This guy. But uh, I did switch up from the initial um, pink and chartreuse glow jig to just our watermelon jig, which is basically the same colors, but it's got a little bit of holographic on it. But Big Joe put down the same jig that I was gonna put down and uh, we're both hooked up. So so who's to say? Uh, who's to say? Who's to say which one was the right one? You gaining on him, Joe? Yeah, finally. Yeah, yeah, he was pulling drag. I gotta come around and hold that. ARS! Here we go! Nice! Here he goes! Get him in the boat! Yes, sir! That's what we came for, fellas! Big boy! Yes, sir! We need the camera on Let's see what Big Joe's got going on. Joe's getting work. You getting close, Joe? Yeah, I'm up my Oh, I see him. He's on my side. Come around, Joe. Keep walking. Watch out, Stevie. Coming around. Coming around the side. Here we go. Just work the camera. I'll get it. There we go. Nice, bro. Very nice, Joe. You're done. Take a seat for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh! Holy Good smokes. fish, man. Got him, baby. <laughs> Woo! Good fish, you guys. All right, John wow. and Joe, you, you're driving the boat now. Oh, I just lost my thingy. <laughs> Good job, John. What was that? That was my that was my protector. Uh, man, guys, we're so fired up. Like, <laughs> there's nothing better than whenever you you are on a mission for a certain species of fish, and you actually get that fish because it's fishing, guys, and you don't always get what you come out to get. So whenever you actually put two of them on the boat first thing in the morning. It's a great day. Um, Stevie Sykes behind me, Uncle Stevie, still chugging away. <laughs> Will still chugging away. Uh, Joe and I, were, you know, we usually get the first fish and then we show them how to do it later. But uh, we'll teach you guys how to, we'll teach you guys how to do this a little later. Here we go, Joe. All right, guys. So here he is. That's uh, the watermelon torpedo. You see the pink? And the green right there those are really my go-to colors when i'm looking for snapper but uh this is a beaut of an ars um i would say he's he's probably between 10 15 pounds i'm always uh, wrong whenever i guess but uh look at the hook set on him so he actually got the top hook in in his uh mouth right there and then the bottom hook um secured itself to the side of the fish and this is usually what happens whenever you're catching snapper and grouper and stuff like that. So let's throw this baby on the ice box. Yeah, tug inch baby. All right, talk to me, Willie Biggs. Uh, right, off, right off the bottom, gobbled that thing up and wants to work me hard here, like an amberjack. Feel like an amberjack? It's like an amberjack, but I think I know better that it's a nice big fat American red. Working my Power 3 Pro Jigger and my Dia with 35 pH. Is he pulling drag? Oh, look at those tip bouncing. Got some nice tip bouncing right there. 48 inches per crank. Come on up, baby. <laughs> He's on. Stevie Sykes, hooked up, baby. Oh. This could be us limited out right here. This could be us. I got some color deep, son. Okay. I got you. Here we go. 
Big Joe's on the gap. We got color. We got that color. looks like the right good. flavor. Nice ARS, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, man, that is such a cool fish, man. That is a big fish. That is awesome. How we doing, Sykes? He's a good drag How we doing, pulling, huh? We got Stevie got some drag pulling right here. Here we go. A lot of you guys ask me, like, can you can you jig on your bait rod? And and look at my uncle right here. You know, he, he's jigging, <laughs> he's jigging on a bait rod and he's hooked up, you know, and it's not about it's not that the rod won't work as well. It's it's that you'll get a little more tired, you know, with, with such a bigger rod. It's a lot more work, but but it's totally doable. You know, he's hooked up. He's right here hooked up. So, you know, if you can't, you know, drop the coin to, to get into a setup right away, just get some jigs. Get out there and drop them to the bottom, you know. Well, look at Stevie Sykes. Nine o'clock in the morning and we're limited out. Not yet. Not yet. Don't count. Don't count your chickens. Will says we're limited out nine o'clock in the morning. I don't think so because uh, Stevie Sykes does not have this fish to the boat yet. Uh, Wait, look at this spot. We're going. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something about my uncle here. You guys have got to see like, the, the black grouper right that this man has put. Uh, I hope I'm going to pop some pictures up for you right here. Just he has just got them dialed in, as well as uh, snook fishing from either the bridges or the pier. He's just got a knack for for uh, catching snook and putting black grouper on the deck. We got electric tape holding. Yeah, oh, look at that big boy going crazy back there. Big boy going crazy. Did you jig out yourself? That'll work. Yeah, jig he unjigged himself. It's like, color. You got color? Yeah. It's like a snapper. Oh, yeah. Just waiting to snapper in. Stevie, Stevie. Here you go. Oh, no, you didn't catch a big ARS. There we go. As, as nice, bro. Like nice. Well, guys, that concludes our snapper fishing for today. Stevie, good job. Yeah. Money. Stevie, good job on the nice. orange money. All orange right. money. That's Beautiful it. Fish. Now I have to get a shot with us holding them up too. That's it, guys. So we're we are officially limited out on uh, American Red Snapper for the day. So we're gonna switch up our techniques just a little bit um, and we're gonna try and get into some uh, red grouper or some uh, scamp grouper or whatever we can get in the grouper species. But uh, in worst case scenario, if there's a chance that we have, we catch another ARS since we're limited out. We have our descending tool with us. We're gonna send them right back down and they'll be in good shape for uh, the next season. Biggest camp? No. Uh, no. no. My time! My snapper, bro! Oh, right there. Look at the size of this freaking yo bro! Yo! Dude, that's scamp! That's a scamp group, bro, dude! So here's something pretty interesting guys and I'm not not sponsored by any companies or anything that are related to this but but uh Joe has a Garmin uh, GPS on him that he can actually um, text people on land and and be in communication with land but not only that they can track you where you're at so he has um, either his wife or his sister-in-law are, are tracking us right now they could see exactly where we're at out here and this could be you know a life a life-saving device actually something that's gonna it if you're going this far offshore to where you cannot see land you know if you're 30 40 50 miles offshore you know it's ideal to have something like this to to make sure that you make it you know back safely and for me personally what i have is um just this uh acr deal i push a button and they send the whole calvary with this so the good thing about the one that joe has is that you can send text messages and things like that and you don't have to exactly get the whole calvary if you're just engines broken down or something like that so for me this is stays in my pocket whenever i'm offshore fishing uh, on any given day and if i fall overboard or if the boat sinks or something like that i press a button and then boom we're getting uh we're getting picked up by coast guard
Man, these guys are just shredding on the jigs today. Good job. <laughs> Joe tight. I love it. Stevie Sykes about to throw a mutton snapper in the ice box. Shit, that's a piece of the tail. Where'd we go? Man, I love this Johnny Jake torpedo thing. Kid crushes fish. Man. No doubt. I've never used like I've always used the oval shaped flutter guys, I guess. Right. Whoa, he's got some big digs on you. Big digs. Whoa, dude, did you get sharked? I don't know. You just got sharked. No. You just got sharked. Oh no. That's probably a No, dude. I actually don't think I did get sharked. Really? Good job, Will. You got color. You got color, baby. Somebody slide the gaff out. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. What is it? I don't you need know. to get around the back of you. Go oh, I got a porgy. That's a red porgy, Steve. It's got to be a big amberjack. You got a porgy? It's got to be a big amberjack. You got yeah. Up, yeah. You got AJ. Big AJ. Check it out, right. oh. I gotta let this go. Yeah. Huh? No. Oh my goodness I gracious. I got a big grouper, dude. Oh Whoa! shit. Oh, oh, that's a gag, right? Oh my. <laughs> that's a gag, right? Oh, 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 Joe! You did say it wasn't no shark. I told you it wasn't Holy no shark. Crap. I told you I believed you. Is that a gag? That's a gag. That's oh a giant my gag. goodness, dude. dude. That's a 50 pound gag, right? Oh my god. Joe's in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude! You get that on me? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes! Dude, that's a great fish, dude. dude. You gotta hold that up once you get Man, we strong. were just about, I was ripping my jig Whoa. up and I got oh. hooked up. And, and Joe water. too. Joe did the same thing. Were you reeling up, Joe? I think I was on bottom. Go. I don't think he's that big. Stevie, you're the gaff man. Maybe he is. We're in this giant hole and there's fish on the bottom. Oh. Big fish, John? He pulled a lot of drag. Pulled Shaking like drag. a tuner? I think he's huge. Tuner or No, now he's like coming up. No more head shakes, which is interesting. Midwater grouper. Madagascar howling turtle. I see that shaky bacon. Yeah. Maybe you got a midwater grouper. Chased your shit. I up. have I have had mutton snappers chase my jigs like 75 feet off the bottom. Dude, I had that too. Yeah. Before. Totally I thought it like a tuna grab it on the way up or something. I've had grouper come off in midwater and come back on three or four times. Come on, Joe. Big fish Joe. It's small but it's weird. Oh, it's not Maybe it's side hooked or something. Joe, what kind of jig are you using? Uh, is it a Johnny jig? Yeah, that same one I caught the big grouper on. The torpedo. It's Tor got the torpedo yellow glow. glow. Yellow glow thing. The yeah, yellow glow man. thing. In fact, I think that's the official name. John, what are you using? I have on a guava torpedo. My favorite. 250. This fish is coming up now. Like he's I like. I got the Zig 300 on. He's like the Yamaha coast too. This fish got bigger. Oh. There he goes. I got color on my end. Here we go. Let's see what we got. We got color. And Gaff man. Survey says. Uh looks good. I see some brown. It might be a big. What do we got? Grouper. It's a grouper. Dude, I got a gag! Dude, a gag in the middle. Yeah! Alright. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. We got a gag! Oh man guys. So this fish has always eluded me, Let me see. Give me a side on the shot jig. So now I finally got gag grouper That's on the a jig. Nice grouper too. And I am, I couldn't be more happier. 
John, that's a beautiful grouper. So that's on the Guava Torpedo 250. And what's weird was I was ripping it up and I was actually about to reel my jig up when I pulled this fish up. So how far off the bottom there, do you think man, you Man, I was, I was 25 feet. Really? 30 he feet off the up. bottom, he chased it up. Beautiful yeah. fish. Well, congratulations on your gag, yeah, bro. Thank you, man. Look at, look, I what's in his mouth? Too, what's in his mouth? Let's see. Nothing. Oh, he's, he's hungry. hungry. He's a hungry, hungry gag grouper. Oh, I see yeah. air in there. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, baby. Damn, John. All right, John. All right, guys. So that wraps up our day of fishing today. And um, man, we, we actually caught nine American red snappers. Um, we only kept four. We kept the first four that we caught, even though we caught, caught some bigger ones later on in the day. And we also uh, caught three of the pink porgies or red porgies, as well as two gag groupers, two mutton snappers, um, a huge yellow eye snapper. Did I mention the mutton snapper? Did I mention the mutton snappers? Scamp, uh, scamp grouper as well. Um, and it's probably probably one of the better days I've had here out on the water and the conditions really laid down for us. It just turned out to be perfect. We had a nice um, speed over ground for a majority of the day, which was under two knots, which made jigging excellent because when you're covering territory and you're um, getting your jig in different places on the reef, you know, that drift really helps you out. Plus the seas laid down for us. The weather was absolutely perfect. We really couldn't have asked for a better day on the water and thank you guys for going with us on this adventure don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment down below you could also follow us on facebook and instagram we're putting out a few tiktok videos there as well and most importantly jig on